Okay, so this video is just to show you that you can run an HDMI device through a Windows 10 computer. Uh, it doesn't need an HDMI input. In fact, if you're looking for HDMI input, they don't really uh, or they hardly exist on laptops. You can occasionally get, I think Alienware do them, uh, but it doesn't always work perfectly uh, and as you'd expect it to. So basically this is like using your Windows 10 laptop as a monitor. Uh, so I've got OBS installed, which is the capture software. I haven't installed anything else on this computer, and this is a reasonably new computer. Plug in the Ava Media and select it as the source, and then you'll find that we can go full screen. Uh, so, there you go. And this is now the NVIDIA Shields interface. So, as you can see, I'm moving left and right with the joypad. Uh, if I launch Redream, which is a uh, Dreamcast emulator, which I was just trying just now, that's why it started up so quick. And this laptop is running at 1080, and the capture device is running at 1080, so uh, everything is coming through as it should. Obviously the shield can output 4K. Oh, and this, this unfortunately runs a bit too fast. Uh, that's This game is like that on this platform, uh, but it's still playable. Uh, but if we try something else, uh, so if I go back and go to games, let's go for Vigilante 8. There you go, you can see everything is working as it should. Uh, so if I quit out of that, and let's just go for maybe a normal Android game. So let's try Bomb Squad. And as you can hear, the sound is coming through the laptop as it should. I've got another video where I do this with a MacBook uh, and also with a Raspberry Pi as well. Uh, so if you check out the previous two videos on my channel, that should be there. Better to play this game as uh, a multiplayer game, but it's still you'll still be able to see that it's all working as it should. Nice shot. So, uh, and if I go back to, say for instance, YouTube, where's YouTube on it? There you go. And just to show that it plays videos all right. So if I pick a video, you can see the advert plays all right, but you'll also see that the, the lip sync is decent as well. All right guys, today's video, we are here at Trey John's house and we're gonna be messing around with something really cool. There you go, so again, nice and smooth. Uh, and as I say, this will work with pretty much anything, so you could use an Xbox, uh, PlayStation, uh, I had a PS2 plugged into my Mac earlier on, I plugged my phone into it, uh, I could also plug in, I've got an Android phone I could plug in uh, with the right cable, um, and you can see all the, I can use all the GeForce Now services and all the Steam services and everything on this, so it is just working as if it is native. So this method, I bet better explain it in the uh, the Mac video, but basically the signal is going from the NVIDIA Shield into an HDMI splitter, out from the HDMI splitter into the capture device. The capture device is then powered uh, from the laptop, but also supplies the data back to the laptop. So that's how the signal's getting back into there. Uh, and this HDMI splitter is also being powered by the laptop from a USB socket. So really easy to set up. Uh, this device cost me £65. They are a lot more on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, the HDMI split is only about a fiver from eBay. Uh, but the benefit is as well is that you've got a really good capture device as well. I use this with my Raspberry Pi and, and most of my game capture videos because it captures direct to a micro SD card. And here you can see I'm running a PSP emulator uh, on the shield. And just to show how good the graphics look. Uh, and how smooth it is. Obviously the PSP is designed for a smaller screen but it scales up really well. Not a very good cross. Pretty much a shot. And let's just go back and find something on YouTube. Well let's use the assistant. Search YouTube for unbox therapy. And as you can see, it's lovely and crisp, very, very sharp, very detailed. Can't really complain about that at all. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.